All right, so I got the spring on. It was pretty quick. Uh, you know, use the, use the spring compression tool to squeeze the cylinder in a little bit. You uh, loosen this bolt up, then the whole thing will come apart. Uh, the whole thing will come apart here. And basically, you just put the new spring in, and actually also put the new the new uh, bump stop. This is the this is the original one. I have this shorter bump stop. It it's about it goes up to about right here, so it's only like you know that that long. Uh, and the cool thing about this is that this spring is you know it's about three quarters of an inch shorter than the original spring. So so the strut, you know the strut, is it still wants to extend further further past. So I didn't even have to use a spring compressing tool to to uh, uh, tighten this up. Uh, basically, I just kind of uh, push down on the on the top right here, the, the top hat right here. Uh, have a little stick out of the uh, of the end here, and I was able to get the nut on. The once the nut was on, I basically just used a five millimeter Allen to hold it. Then I would tighten this up, and that was it. And this is twenty foot pounds, and that was it. I didn't even have to use the spring compression tool. Okay. So uh, so I got that in. So let's, uh, oops, 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 my gimbal's not on, let's turn on the gimbal, oops, alright, so gimbal's on, I have no light, so I'm just actually started near the video then, 